European dictators know that citizens of a free country will normalize anything in order for they themselves to survive. All the evidence shows that I'm telling the truth about Mount Desert Island, which means that AIDS was a premeditated attack. They were talking about it before they ha it happened, and they used a nerve agent on me that you can now see. Despite this, they maneuvered to punish me with contagions. They poisoned me in the mouth for discussing it. The animals behind this are all working with Paul McCartney. The Beatles were a primary poison system in a mass murder. They're massacre criminals like Putin. And they're the magical group that can normalize anything. Let me tell you a little about what they did to me. They implanted a neuroplasm and they made up a story that I hadn't been kidnapped and tortured as a child. They did this by impinging soundtrack on my psyche and extruding it through natural language systems as satire. I said, yes, yeah, sure. Meaning sarcastic. Sure, I tied her up and put her with the carrot. It was something they had set done to a woman and then told me about when I was a hostage child. And she herself was known to be laughing. And they even put on a record, she was laughing. Her name was like Terry Roach, Terry. They used double fantasy, a double, doubling system. And they overdubbed the, the track, the soundtrack that they wanted to use as perverts in administration at Carnegie Mellon University and University of Pittsburgh and um, University of Washington to sell the idea that um, I was, as a child, I mean, they didn't ask, how old were you when you heard this? What did you just say? How old were you when you heard that? When I was about 13 years old and I had been held hostage and was in tears and suffering and they were talking about um hitting people in the head showing me pictures of people who've been hit in the head with with um machetes and talking about defiling the bodies and so forth and yet th even though they did this to a child the rabid animals in the beetles got on me, tortured me, and raped my deaf advocate, saying that I deserved it. Now, not, let's get to why I deserved it. Because the drummer for Ch Sol Chunk Mary sent the standard. What they did was they used me as a plaything. Ann Mitchell was a good example. She was um, in J.P. Morgan's family. They used me as a plaything, and then they discovered that I suffered, when they rejected me, physical anguish and would cry. So they thought that was so funny. He's a jealous possessive who, who cries when he's rejected. Let's, let's use him and reject him. Use him and reject him. Use him and reject him until I went into seizures and they smeared an abortion all over school. And they said, it's because he's a Muslim type guy. 